All right, Ryan, we're ready for the third and one of the most crucial steps in your build that you're coming up on. We talked about the barrel you need in the gas system. We also talked about the bolt carrier group, what to get. You don't have to go all out and get the Daniel Defense or whatever uh, to get you know something that's gonna work all right for you. I recommended the, uh, the BCM was gonna work good. I recommended the Brownells. If you're going for the lightweight, the low mass one that's like three ounces less and stuff like that. I mean, that thing, it takes like hardly any air in, in your system to move it. But the next important thing is what trigger are you gonna get? And you'll see a lot of stuff out there. The factory mil spec uh, trigger, it's gonna be about seven pounds. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a good combat trigger. You know, I, I've been in almost 20 years now and I, that's what they're still using. And you know what, it still works good. I just qualified recently. and But yet the trigger was terrible. I'm telling you, that heavy trigger pull was like, uh, uh, I mean, man, I'm telling you, you really gotta focus on your fundamentals on that deal. All right, so uh, what do I like to use? There's all kinds of single stage, two stage, and all this other stuff. There's heavy, there's light. You're like, well, how do you know which one to get? Okay, I go with the lightest one that I think I need for that situation. You're like, well, what situation? All right, so if this is gonna be a competition or something like that, I go with a very light trigger. I've got a pound and a half trigger that's in my competition gun because I just wanna touch it and that thing is gone. But if I'm looking for a general purpose rifle, which is what you've told me you're trying to build, I go with something heavier than that. I go with a, a three, a three and a half, a four pound trigger, something like that. You don't want something that can just a hair will set it off. But on the other hand, you don't want something that's like the seven pound trigger from the, the military. It's like, ugh, and you really got to put some stuff into it because unless you have really good fundamentals, you're going to pull your shot off one way or another every time. So you're like, well, what one do you go with, dude? All right. I am a fan of the cassette trigger. I don't know if you can see it in there or not. This is the uh, CMC, I think, that's in here right now. You know what, take, take a look at the pick. I use the CMC, I'm not gonna say exclusively, but you know what, I like their stuff. People are like, well, there's all kinds of other ones that I think the, the Timony is just better and all this other stuff. And it seems to be pretty consistent, pretty reliable. I'm telling you, for a general purpose rifle, there's nothing wrong with dropping in the cassette trigger in there. It's easy. It comes with its own anti-walk pins. I mean, there's not a lot of springs to wind up in there. I've gotten some triggers that are not the cassette, but you have to basically have a screw in about six different places in here to fine tune every one of them because if you don't, you'll end up with it not firing correctly or it not resetting, or you will shoot a burst or something, which I have accidentally. And I was like, oh, I realized something was not set in there right. And I had to re readjust it here. I had some of my settings and stuff wrong. No, it was not intentional and it was not supposed to do that. It's just some of my stuff was not set right when I was first putting it together. And I had at least a double, it was like, like a double tap at least. I was like, oh goodness, what happened there? But no, the cassettes, they're easy, they're reliable, and they're pretty cheap. I mean, a lot of times you can find one on a deal like Black Friday or something, or even other holidays like Veterans Day is coming up. You can find them at $99, $125 or something like that. They're normally about $200. But that's still better than a lot of triggers out there. But hey, you can find one for 125 or something. Say it, uh, I'm not, I mean, hey, I, I'm not no shield for a primary arms or anything like that. Uh, I do a lot of shopping with them. I do a lot of shopping with Optics Planet and they're also one of my affiliates. I'm gonna include a, a link directly to it. And you know what? I'll include the primary arms link too. So if, if you like the primary arms, hey, go with it. I mean, it's, they're not an affiliate of mine, but hey, if you find a better deal on it, I'm always for y'all finding good deals out there. But the trigger cannot be understated on how important your trigger is. That you want something that is gonna be reliable, that the poundage, it feels good, it still lets you have your good fundamentals on your trigger pull, but it's still easier for you. So put it that way. It doesn't have to be too easy, but it does help a little bit when you have a softer trigger, at least I think. Some people are gonna be out there and say, oh, if you don't have the mil spec seven pound trigger, you know, that there's nothing else like it out there. That's the only thing that matters. You're a FUD already. You know what? There's all kinds of great triggers out there. Like I said, you got your Timonies, you got your Daniels, you got your CMCs right here, cassette trigger or whatnot out there. And you know what, I've used all kinds of triggers. I just say for a general purpose rifle, which Ryan, you say you wanna build, that is what you need, is just a straight up cassette trigger. All right, other than that, you'll definitely just need to get a lower parts group and that will, you'll have a few extra parts if you're getting your own drop-in trigger or you can get one without fire control group. It'll be a little bit cheaper. You know what, I'll put a link to the lower parts group in there too, Ryan. Go 
go ahead and get one of those too because you'll need it for all your internals here. Uh, we'll get your stuff put together and uh, we'll get you rocking and rolling, brother. Uh, this is just a budget uh, build of something I had working. I think this is a this is like an ABC or something that I think I got. I don't remember what it was, $39 or something when I got it on a Black Friday a couple of years ago or something. So like this one, my lower, we'll talk about it on another video, but uh, th th this one is Ballistics Advantage lower. So if you can see that or not, this one I've got good internals and stuff in here. This is a, a, a general purpose rifle, but a better made one. This is kind of a budget build that I was working on. This is a spare parts gun. So... Ryan, just goes to show that I will use the same drop-in trigger in the spare parts gun as I will a better general purpose rifle. So take a look at the links in the description, figure out which one you want, and we'll get your bill working right. That's a regular guy's opinion.